This is Dave Palumbo with a special RX Muscle breaking news report. Uh, I'm here with Chris, the technician, Aceto, and we have a uh, Kevin Lavroni exclusive photo uh, reveal. Uh, Chris, I got these photos. I can't tell you what we had to sacrifice, who we had to get rid of, what people had to be knocked off, but we got the exclusive Kevin Lavroni photos at nine and a half weeks out from the 2016 Mr. Olympia contest. Uh, when I got these photos, I, I, I ran out of my house so quickly that I forgot to get rid of my socks that were in my pocket from yesterday, my dirty socks. And uh, so, uh, Lavroni, I don't know, you know, uh, what to say other than maybe we should just reveal them. Chris, are you excited? Well, yeah, I'm excited because, um, you know, it, it, it's hype and hype is terrible if you, if nothing happens with hype and you already sent me the, sent me the, the pictures that you hacked and, uh, you know, if you can meet the hype, then it's, then that's what makes for an exciting story. So yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to, you know, these guys are going to come out one by one at the Olympia and you, you watch, they're going to save Kevin, mark my words, for second to the last next to Phil. you got to remember, Chris, Kevin Lavroni at nine and a half weeks out from the Olympia usually looks like he hasn't even trained, back in the day at least. Um, when people see these pictures, they're, they're not going to – it's going to blow their mind. Lonnie Teeper sent me an email the other day, and he said to me, he goes, Jum he calls me Jumbo. Jumbo, are you, are you serious? Do you really think Kevin Lavroni could win the Olympia? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. He goes, well, if you're right – that will be the greatest prediction of all time come true, and I will have to bow down to you. And I said, well, get your knee pads out, Lonnie. I said, because this guy's for real. Lonnie just wants to say, even I, he just wants to insert himself into the story and say, you know, and I backed up Palumbo when Palumbo made the prediction. <laughs> I, I don't know if he's backing up anything. Lonnie thinks it's an impossibility. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, from insiders inside the Kevin Lavroni camp, they, uh, they know that the right person to send the pictures to were us. And we got these pictures exclusively. I know people out there probably say, show the goddamn pictures already. And we will. We will. We are going to show the pictures, I promise you. Uh, they're impressive. I think that, uh, you know, once we put them up there, Chris, you and I can evaluate them. But I think that the, uh, the hype train is starting to get a little more momentum behind it. I think some of the other bodybuilders in that lineup are starting to get a little nervous. What do you think? Well, you know, I, I don't know if they're getting nervous, but and, and that's really besides the point. I, I think it's Phil more, dangerous, nervous. more dangerous is, is if Kevin is getting confident, you know, um, and if he's, you know, if, if he's he's having his guys send you photos, that's a sign of being confident, not not confident. Well, you know, and, and, you know, let's just say, you know, I equate it this way, Dave, and I always do this It's bizarre. Do you know the temperature drop, seriously, in Maine between September 1st and November? That's eight weeks. It goes from like 85 during the day to like 38. In other words, eight weeks is a lot of time in the scope of things. You know, uh, the Vroni, uh, your wife, it's, it's can, your wife can tell you. You can, you can tell me. You know how when, when a woman's pregnant, how much she grows in the last eight weeks. Yeah. Well, You know what I mean? I mean... It's it's a little odd to compare those to to Kevin Lavrone, but eight weeks, nine weeks, you know, it's a lot of time. Uh, it's a lot of time, and it's especially a lot of time for somebody who's ahead of the game in his own prep. And it's a lot of time when you Kevin Lavrone, where one week is like four weeks. Well, fifty-two years of age. Let's put the let's put the back shot up first, uh, Johnny. Um, it's like a twisting back shot. He said, I, well, he didn't send it to me. I, I kind of got it from a, another source. I don't want to say who. But if you look, his body fat levels, Chris, in this shot, must they look like they're in the low single digits. I'd say 4 or 5%. I mean, he's got striations in his traps. Yeah. How impressive yeah, no, I, is that shot, do you think? I mean, it's impressive because, um, you know, half the battle of getting ready for a show like this is to be lean. So he's already conquered half the battle, um, and the other the other half is coming in in full, and you know he's got nine and a half weeks to you know quote be or get fuller. 
So um, his arms and shoulders look as good as they ever did back in the '90s. I think. Well, let me let me play devil's advocate. You know what everyone watching this will say? They'll say, "Yeah, but what about his legs, Dave?" Well, the legs, the the, the leg reveal has not uh, occurred yet. But I will say one thing. You know, uh, the kind of detail he's showing to me, it doesn't look like a physique that hasn't trained for ten years. Well, I mean, it's that's that's why you've been hyping him. I that's mean, it's gift. it's not to, you know. No disrespect to like Paul Dillette, who's a freak also, but it's not like Paul Dillette coming back. In other words, someone like Paul Dillette, who's also 52 and also a crazy freak, uh, you know, Paul was always at nine weeks out, like, ready. And at 18 weeks out, he was already huge. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, he didn't work, he didn't have the Lavrone uh, freakiness where. You know, people don't believe that where, you know, 13 weeks out, Kevin looked like, you know, somebody who was training for, you know, the, the heavyweight division in the in, in men's nationals. <laughs> and that's that's not because, I mean, that's only because he deliberately did it that way. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you if you put him on a trajectory of do this, does that guy look like, like the, nine weeks out? Does he look 52 ago, years old to you? That skin don't look fifty year, two years old to me. No, he's never he's never looked. You know what I mean? He's he's always looked. How many fifty two year olds do you know that have skin like that? I mean, he looks like he could be you know twenty eight in that picture. Dave, Scooter, Scooter has that type of skin, <laughs> but it's probably all he's probably lying. It's probably all plastic surgery. Okay. Out, we don't know about it. Let let's Johnny put up the front shot, which I think is even more impressive than the back shot. Believe it or not, uh, when you look at this shot, I mean, and you see his arms. And you see the the the, the graininess. This what is, does gloats look like, Dave? <laughs> this is the shot. You know that when you, you you take a look at this guy and you say, you know what? There's no sense in competing. You know, I I got to think that Phil Heath is a little nervous when he sees this shot. Sure, and those I, are Lavroni listen. shoulders. Those are the Lavroni arms. You can see he's got a, a crazy six pack of abs. His pecs are full. Uh, you know, this is this guy is going to win, Chris. He's not going there to place. What do I always say about you that people hate that I say about you, Dave? I'm always right. Always right. <laughs> you know, so... Someone you know, bought me a shirt it, once. It said, uh, let's just skip the details. Let's assume I'm right about everything. You know, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you no, know what? It's, it's it not that. Back, I just know Lavroni. Dave, it goes back to that interview I did in Poland, or not Poland, with Johnny in FIBO. And I said, right on my Instagram account... This guy is coming, right, Johnny? I said he's coming back in 216 because the more questions I asked him, it wasn't like somebody answering questions like, yeah, man, you know. It was somebody you could feel their passion on fire. And, and, and that's why I said last year he's coming back to the Olympia for sure, 2016. Don't be surprised. And yep. here he is. And that's because, you know what, you can't put a lid on passion. You know what I mean? Passion and desires. Yeah. And it's probably always been there. And it just, you know, after that, things are timing. You know, the right timing. And, and you know, Phil certainly showed vulnerability last year, right? Yeah. I mean, a ton of vulnerability. I mean, I thought he was vulnerable from, you know, of course, I'm going to hype my guy, Roden. But I talked to one judge who I have tremendous respect for. And I just wanted to hear him say, yeah, Sean almost knocked him out. He said, dude, he, he just told me. He was very vulnerable in parts of prejudging. Very. He was shocked at how vulnerable he looked. Now, couple that with, you know, his company tanked. I mean, listen, I'm in my office right now. Uh, here's my checkbook. I write checks all day long. The you don't do online point, banking? No, Dave, the point is this. The point is this. Everybody has stressors in their life, Right. The last thing you want as a bodybuilder is a lot of like high intensity stress going into a show. That's why people go to see um, D Darth Vader in, in uh, Darth Vader in Kuwait. You know, you can go over to Vader's gym, the best gym in the world, best facilities. You know, tremendous food, the anabolic chicken, secret chicken, and you know you can train for a show stress free. Lavrone at 52 is training for the show. He don't have anything to prove to anyone else except himself. That's a big advantage. He's got nothing to lose. And going either. back to the checkbook is uh, Phil, you know, he's got to be in the back of his mind 
have, unless he's superhuman, a concern, man, I don't have checks coming in like I used to have coming in. It's just another stressor that throws, you know, anyone's prep, makes it not 100%. Yeah, so well, a couple last year showing a lot of vulnerability in prejudging. Um, he did win four hundred thousand dollars at the show, so I mean I don't think his mo money is is a problem. But yeah, it's got a, a no, it's dude, a bother. Take the, you know what? Great, four hundred thousand. Take take the taxes out. Take your expenses out. Yeah, that's true. You know, throw down a big mortgage insurance on like nineteen Mercedes. <laughs> you know, and, and sneaker payments, and you know it's not a lot of money. <laughs> You're right. and, and that's not to say, you know, and that's not to say this. I'll, I'll say two two more things about the show, about the Olympia, which is going to be tremendous. I'm not counting out anyone else: Dexter, Roden, uh, Rami, Cedric, Roly. I mean, they all bring their strengths to the show. So, you know, throw them up there. It's 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 making for a great show. And thank God we have press passes, Dave, this year. Otherwise, right, we'd have to we'd have to go rogue and just like, <laughs> like do a Sarah right. Palin just show up with like, you know, First Amendment rights armed and ready. That's right. Now, you know, obviously, you know, you, like you pointed out, it's not a two man show. We're just we're 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 talking about it as if it is. Give me your I'm honest opinion. You know my opinion already. Can Kevin Lavroni win the Olympia at, at 52 years of age? Do you think Listen, it's possible? I, I, I think if the – here's what I think. You don't have to agree with me. Yes and no. He, he, he can only win if there's two times – here's the two best Kevin LeBrons in history. Um, if he shows up in the shape that he was in – this goes way back, dude. 92. 1994 Arnold, okay. right? The 94 Arnold. You can put it up, Johnny, but black trunks. Um, or if anyone can find Dave, honestly, he guest posed in the mid nineties in New Haven. He wore yellow posing trunks at a guest posing there. And that look that night was beyond stupendous. It was absolutely flabbergasted. I've been around a long time. I know what I'm looking at. So much so that I went up and I bought a picture from him after the, after the, <laughs> After he guest posed. Johnny's got the footage from the 94 Arnold up, and that was when he had those – his legs were insane back then, if you remember. Yeah. They were just like I mean, they were insane. Everything was insane. Yeah, but his, his legs especially were probably the best they've ever been in his career, you know, size-wise. I don't know what's going to be better, Dave. I really don't know what's going to be better, the prejudging or the, the press conference. Yeah, well, you know what? Also, you got to remember, Kevin is a very good poser in presentation, and, I, and that, that really plays a lot, you know – He's not going to get out, you know, posed on stage by anyone or out presented. If anything, he's going to probably enhance his physique on stage with his presentation. Yeah. And, you know, some of these guys are not the greatest on stage hitting the mandatories. And, you know, it, I, look, I'm looking forward to it. It's super exciting. We're nine and a half weeks out. We got, we, got the, we got the pictures to show that Kevin is in this for real. To me, knowing Kevin, nine and a half weeks is an eternity. He could probably grow another 10 to 12 pounds into this show. I'm, Trust me, he will be bigger than what's in these pictures. I promise you that. And I, when I listen, what what I tell you, Jose said that was that's going to be twelve weeks ago, when Jose said, you know, and Jose's usually right about stuff. He's probably watching now, and he's going to get mad. He's going to think he's always right. <laughs> uh, so, uh, sorry, Jose. Dave's always right. You're usually right. But he said, you know, he sent me the picture of him and Kevin hanging out, and he and the text was. You know, I don't think these guys believe that he's going to show up the way I know he's going to show up. Yeah, he's he's on fire. I talk to Kevin a lot, and he's just super hyped up. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Hopefully, we'll get you guys some leg updates maybe in the next couple of weeks. You never know what's going to happen. What get the glute update. What? Get the glute update. Get the glute update. I, I hear that there's an ambulance over in uh, East Setauket at, at MD headquarters right now. I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the update pictures. Stay tuned for more muscle news updates. Regularly here at rxmuscle.com, I'm Dave Palumbo for Chris Aceto. We'll see you next time.